Hey everybody, thanks for watching A Guy Doing Stuff. I'm Adam and today I'm going to be attaching the back bracing. All acoustic guitars have bracing on the inside of the back and the soundboard. The back is a lot more simple than the soundboard, so I'm going to show you that process first. I am going to be using this thing a lot for my next couple of videos. This thing is called a go bar deck. The basic idea is that I can brace these little flexible rods against the top here, and then they apply downward clamping pressure on the workpiece when I'm gluing. The first step for attaching the back bracing is to glue down this reinforcement strip. This is just a thin piece of spruce with the grain going this way. I cut it just long enough to fit between the tail block and the end block, then glue it centered onto the inside of the back to add some strength to the joint. You can see how easy it is to apply clamping pressure wherever I want with the go bar deck. I like using little pieces of plexiglass as coals whenever I can for this too because it spreads the pressure out a little bit and I can still see how and where the glue is squeezing out. I leave it clamped down like this for about an hour, then take it out and round down the edges a little bit with sandpaper. Now I'm going to put four braces right here, 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 and here. All this bracing I'm using for the back and for the soundboard is spruce, and I cut it all out of these sticks to the specific dimensions given to me by my plans on a table saw. Now it's really important that all your bracing is quarter sawn. Usually when I think quarter sawn, I think of the wider face having the tight grain, but the width of the bracing is actually less than the thickness, so you have to make the narrow face the one with the tight grain. I might draw up some kind of diagram to help explain that. Once you have all your bracing cut right, you need to put a radius on them. You might remember this radius dish from when I radius the edges of my sides. I'm going to use this to put that same radius on my bracing. I'll start with the top brace. I place it near the top of the dish and drag a pencil along the dish to give me an idea of what the radius will look like. From here, I take it to my belt sander and sand it down close to the line I drew. Then I go back to the dish and get it the rest of the way by rubbing it back and forth on here. I'm going to sand until the whole brace has the radius. One way to check this is by making some marks along the bottom. I just keep sanding until all the marks disappear. I do this process for all four of the back braces. I sand the braces near the location at which they'll be glued onto the back, just to be sure I'll get the best fit possible when I go out to glue them on. It's really important to make sure to not put too much pressure on the center of the brace, because you don't want it to bend while you're sanding it, because then it'll just spring back to shape and not have the actual radius you want on it. Once you have all your braces radiused, you have to cut slots for them on the reinforcement strip. I measure down to where I need to put them, mark the slot, then cut on the marks with a pull saw. From there, I clean the slots up with a chisel, then sand any remnants away with little tiny strips of sandpaper. I do this for all four braces, and if I do it right, everything should fit in nice and snug. Now I'm going to glue the braces down to the back in the go bar deck. I'm going to be using the radius dish as a base beneath the back when I'm clamping to get good pressure along the whole length of all the braces. I don't have enough rods to clamp all the braces at once, so I'm going to be doing the top two, then waiting about an hour, then taking them off and doing the bottom two. Once they're all glued on, if I did everything right, I should be able to set it on a flat surface and rock it back and forth because it now has a radius on the back. At this point, all I have to do is clean them up now. I use this gooseneck scraper to draw a curve onto the ends of all the braces. Carbon these is one of those things that you need super sharp tools for, so I resharpen my chisel before I start, then carve down to the line. The braces should taper down to a little over a sixteenth of an inch where they meet the sides. I'll end up cutting a notch in the sides where they meet and the end of the braces will be tucked into that notch. I'm going to round over the top of all the braces with my little mini planer and then I'll sand everything clean to 220 grit.
That is it for bracing the back. Again, in my next video, I'm gonna show the process for bracing the soundboard. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Workshop Tools for sponsoring this series. And don't forget to hit subscribe to stay up to date on my videos.